Uh, this is a mess. I'm hot. It's hot. Camera's falling out of focus. Uh, I feel and look sweaty. And uh, so anyway, I apologize for all of that. I can't get the, the alarm to stop on the timer. And that's it. Hello VC, Plastic Eric here, Plastic Soundwave Cult, here for another thrilling edition of Collection Connection. Now, the last album that my brother showed uh, was Guster's Ganging Up on the Sun. Um, I had a hard time kind of making a connection with that one, um, as far as like production or, you know, uh, I, I tried to look for another satellite song, but uh, I, I don't have one. But I thought about it, and I'm like, who would gang up on the sun? Who would be ganging up on the sun? And I think it would be the Marky Moon. So this is the 1977 album Marquee Moon by Television. I probably should hold it up here. Um, great album. Uh, I feel like this is one of those albums, even though it didn't... Well, it, it actually sold really well. But, uh, you know, when you hear, like, uh, people of a more experienced nature, um when they talk about growing up and listening to the Beatles and things like that and, you know, how Meet the Beatles changed their lives um, or Sgt. Pepper's changed their lives. I think that television is for a lot of people, a lot of artists, was an album that they heard and it just blew their mind. And, you know, it's one of those those albums that influence a lot of people I feel um, I'm sure I've met actually a few people that quote this as being their their favorite album of all time and so that came out in 1977 when you know they didn't know what to call it really because uh, it was right there when they were just starting to call stuff new wave um, punk was already started by then but there was it this was called punk but it really reflected a different nature and i think it was like what happens to a lot of grunge bands grunge bands that got wrapped up into the grunge sound but really weren't grunge and i feel that these guys were not necessarily punk but we're definitely new wave but when that album came out it it was the the first time that it was you know coming out and because that is their their first album i don't believe their second album did as well a lot of people say that one's really good as well but after that they tend to drop off uh or unless they had only two albums i'm not sure about that now But one of the things that is uh, uh, interesting is, is the, the lead vocalist uh, and guitarist, I believe, too. He, he went on for a solo career. That would be uh, Tom Verlaine. Um, to be honest, I have not heard any of his solo stuff. But, uh, you know, I don't know how much he, he changed. You know how an artist evolves. I don't know how much he changed beyond uh, what he did for television. But uh, definitely this, this album here, they, they hit it out of the park. And so uh, that is my connection for this week. Television's Marquee Moon. And if you say, wait a second, is that really a connection? I say it is. 
and it really is just about having an excuse to show music. So, uh, definitely um, am up and, you know, not scoring. So, I sling it back to you, Bryce, and uh, hopefully you can come up with a connection. Bye.